In this video I am going to show you the difference between a clipping mask and a layer mask and a group layer mask and also how to undo them and a little bit about how to manipulate them. So we're going to start with clipping mask which is probably the most simple one. What you need is your base image which you have here and you need your text or I'm using text here as an example but it can be a geometric shape, it can be your drawing, your hand drawing and all you need to do is to put the shape that you're going to use as the clipping underneath the layer that is the basis for the, so it would be the background. You select the background layer and you go up here in the layers panel and you see these like little square hamburgers. You click those, that's the clipping mask and immediately you have the clipping mask. Now you can Im independently move the background layer so you can change where it ends up and you can independently move the text layer or the, the front layer that way. And if you link them, so you click this little icon here, then both of them move together. So if you want to undo this, don't and just click this and it releases the clipping mask. The text is still here, only it is underneath so that's why you don't see it because the layer is over and when you place them you can also change the opacity of the layer so you can see where the text is going to end up before you clip create the clipping mask and in order for a clipping mask to work both of these have to be on so if you remove either one of those you're not going to have the clipping mask both have to be on and working and they're joined together and you can see this little arrow here the other possibility is a layer mask. So again, you have your base image. Again, I'm using text as an example. Doesn't have to be text, but it is a little bit simpler because text you can select easily. For a layer mask, you need to select. So you hold Control or Command on a Mac, and while you're holding it, you click on the text icon. So the icon of the image. If it's an image, a different image, I'll show that too. So you can basically use any image, other image, it doesn't have to be text. I have an example here, so if I get rid of this and this, for example, and I hold down control and I click the icon of this wolf paw or dog paw, then you can see the little running dots are around it and I can just as easily make a mask out of this as text. So let's use this as an example. We do like this and then you select the layer that you want to be the basis of your, it has this background layer has to be selected and then you just click your layer mask down here on the layers panel and bam, this one disappears and we have to remove this because this layer covers it. So if you have this one on, then you're not going to see what you've done. And again, you can move this independently so you can grab this they're, they're linked now together, so you see this little link sign in the middle, so they're moving together, but if you just want to move the base, hold on, you unlink it like that, and then you can move around the inside, or if you click the black side, the, the mask side, you can move the paw around the image to get it where you want to. And it works the same way with the text. So I'll do that with the text. Uh, and if you want to undo this layer, then it's not here. You have to go inside and you say delete layer mask. That's to delete it completely. You can also turn it off so it'll just be an X and then you can see the, the underneath layer because the mask is off, but it's still there. So then you can say turn on layer mask, have the layer mask back. But if you want to delete it completely, then you just click delete layer mask and it's gone, your layer is back to normal. So now let's do this, control, we click the text icon, we have the little ants running around the, the text and here we select our la layer and we make our layer mask and we remove the text so that we can see the layer, we can unlink them and move around the bottom so we get what we want. And what's nice about this particular kind of mask is that you can manipulate this layer. So if you click this, this black layer mask part of the layer and here as you can see when you zoom in that black is what is covered and white is what is visible. So if you take a pencil for example, um, let's take a brush like this 
and you just add a little it's on white here so you just add a little white here then you can add to your letters you can change your letters you can do lots of things because you're just opening up the mask and adding a little bit extra to that so that's how how this works and same way if you want to remove things from the mask then you just take black which is the covering color and you can add things inside so you make more mask you make things removed you can just get it and for example you can work with opacity also so you can do like like this so different different possibilities here if you want to and that's what you get with a layer mask you can't do this with a clipping mask a clipping mask is too simple to do this now what's even better than a regular layer mask is a layer group mask so what you do is basically the same thing you click control you select the the layer with the with the text and then what you do is you create a group this by clicking this group icon this file folder it's a folder than group and inside this you can you can make uh, more layers or not make more layers but anyway you create a group and you select this group when you have the the text selected here and the group selected on the left in the panel and then you create mask so this is the layer mask inside the group so what this means is that every layer that you drag into this folder makes we have to remove the text because the text is covering becomes the base layer so because it's a folder because it's a group you can change this around so for example well i don't want this one i want to try another one so you drag this one into it and then you can have a different layer and that way you have more possibility to change them because it's in the group so and of course everything else applies the same way so this you can change you can paint with the with the white oh wait a minute that's not a brush is it you can paint with white well, let's give it some opacity here You can paint with white to make more things visible around like this or if we have an, an airbrush is not the best thing or if you want to make little decorations you can do that here around the letters or if you want to remove things black and here you can go like this so these are the options when you have a group you can remove things from the group. You can test different things. It's easier because you can have lots of layers underneath and change them around quickly. So if I was to do it myself, I would always go for a group. When the link is on here, then everything in the group is going to move together. That includes the layer that you're not seeing. So this layer is moving around with us as well. But if you unlink this, then you can move this part independently so you can see it's it's flying across or you can move the bottom layer independently as with the others and you, you can see that the layer underneath is not moving so that depends on whether you have this little link symbol here one final thing that is is a nice doesn't really have to do with layers but it has to do with text and that is you can click on this icon on the shortcuts or control t and that is free transform and what that does is of course you can now it's it's doing the entire image so that's why i'm, I'm getting such a large frame but you can twist it around you can do lots of things you can flip it ver vertical horizontal anything but what you can also do is have this sort of star wars effect that you if you hold control and you grab onto one of these sides then you can skew the image well it's going very slowly because my computer feels this is a very difficult thing to do but you can skew the image in different directions this way so again I'll hold control and I will do this and this is possible also in a clipping layer it is possible well well I dragged a little bit too much hello well we're gonna get rid of that so 
This is possible also to do the tree transform in a clipping layer, but not if it is a text, because as long as the text hasn't been rasterized, and you can always rasterize a text layer. So if you have a text layer like this, you can just go here and you can say rasterize layer. And when you've done that, it's no longer a text layer, so you don't manipulate it with the T, you manipulate it with just move tools and brushes and things like that. And when it's rasterized, you can do free transform. When it's not, you can't. That's it for clipping layers and masking layers.